All right, this thing here is a uh, review product. I got it from Free for Banggood. Um, it's that they sent it to me at no charge for the purpose of review. Now you would have seen this in a recent mailbag, and um, it arrived with this clip here broken, although seemingly with missing parts. Um, the broken bits weren't here. A fraction of it was, but most of it wasn't. And the case has got scratches and stuff in it here. So I'll get it in there light so you can see all these scratches and hopefully you can see all these ones here which is a bit disappointing for a brand new product um and you can see the case here is all broken as well see that okay it's all smashed so um yeah, closer view so that's how it arrived which is disappointing um but then as i didn't pay for it i can't really complain too much can i really um let's move this out of the way it's a bit annoying so Anyway, what it basically is, if I can get into it again, which way does it go? That way. Is um, a wire stripper, which is adjustable. Well, this is very much like one I've already got. Um, it's also got some crimping sections down here as well. So, just generic ones. They can be handy. Um, although, bear in mind, you're basically squeezing that, so it's only like twice as much as you can squeeze. So not particularly strong but the only thing you get this for anyways is the is the stripper part okay so and basically you've got this little screw here which you wind down and that adjusts the spring tension you can see and there's like a little dimple in there and that adjusts how um, hard it is to get it to pop over that recess and strip so you use that to adjust the wire thickness so you've got a really thin wire, you have it back top of it, so it's quite gentle. Um, if you've got a really thick wire, you, you crank it right down. Make it much stiffer to pull. Although that doesn't feel that stiff compared to my other one, which I don't have here, actually. So I've got, I've got one, I've already got one of these like this, but it's a different brand. I bought it, purchased it locally. Um, so I mean, I, th I think it's fine, you know. If you're not, as long as you're not doing like 8 gauge cables, it should be fine, I reckon, you know. It works fine, you know. And you can actually strip more than one wire at once. You can put, you know, a few wires in, just stop in side by side, and bang, done. Um, and you've got this adjustable guide just here, so you can set the depth. So um, using that, you make sure you, you strip all the wires exactly the same length, which can be really handy if you're doing the same kind of connectors all the time. You can just set that to the length you want. Um, I think there was actually a measurement guide on the ES just down there. So. And it looks like that is in inches because that's his quarter, that's his half. No, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is. So it's 10 to 24.2 to 6 mil. I'm guessing that's what it means for the dimensions 10 gauge to 24 gauge. Must be. Anyway, so it's nice enough. I'm not sure this is as good as the one I've already got. Um, where's, it's got these plastic backs on here. I'm not quite sure what they're covering up. They are bolted though. Although, yeah, that side's bolted, but that side's riveted, it looks of it. Well, it could be a bolt. But anyway, yeah, they're right. That is the main reason I actually requested this particular item. This piece is. So this is a um, adjustable jaw or changeable jaw crimper. Um, so it's also ratcheting as well, so a ratchet mechanism on there. If you need to release it, there's like a little lever. You just push that up, and it and it takes the the ratchet away, so you can open it back up again if you need to. Um, Parallel tools, apparently. Yeah, okay, never heard of them. But anyway, it's not surprising. So it comes with some extra cap screws. I'm guessing these are spares in case you need them, um, which is nice, I suppose. Comes with a little screwdriver bit, which again, I'm not sure why you need a screwdriver bit, but that end is what fits on this. So I guess it's just what was available, and I said, well, just make it a multi-pose tool. So that around you got a screwdriver and 
that around you have the tool to change the bits so this particular one is 0.5 1 mil 1.5 mil square mil um, for the actual crimp so you can see the actual sizes there for the, for the crimp terminals and I did cover this a bit in the review video already in the um, mailbag video so we got this type here different kind of crimp um, it's my JX1601 0.25.5 and 1 mil. Okay, I don't know it's, if it's a kind of different kind of crimp terminal or if it's just purely a sizing thing. It looks really similar to that one, so I don't think it's much. I think it's just sizing. It's different on that one. Then we've got what else here? So these ones here, which are typical yellow, red, blue. But the interesting thing with this is that they actually appear to be incorrect. All right, so if you look at them, now yellow terminals are the bigger terminals. Red is the smallest, and blue is the medium size. So that's supposed to be red, that's supposed to be blue, that's supposed to be yellow. Unless I'm getting this wrong, but I don't think I am. Uh, <laughs> I haven't got any terminals in here actually, um, they're packed away because of the flood, so I don't actually have them here, I don't think. No, I've got nothing here. I'll have to get them out if I need them, but um, so this is a different different type, it's got terminal two little press points there and there, so it's got like a gap in the centre, which you can hopefully see through there. Maybe if I put a finger behind it you can see. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, there you go. So, I believe these color codes are incorrect. So, that's a bit of a fail there, isn't it? Um, next one here. Smart as JX2546. I mean, they, came, they could be um, part numbers for these jaws. I'm guessing that's what they are. So, 2.54 mil and 6 mil. And that is basically straight across. No real shaping on there. It goes straight through, which is a little bit interesting because any other ones are all shaped. Okay, um, and the last set of jaws. If I can get them out. Uh, the part number on this is JX16016. Wasn't that 1601 on there as well? Uh, this one? Yes, it was. It's 160110. Interesting. Maybe there's a reason for those codes. I'd, I'm not like a aficionado on crimping. And again, this is a slightly different style. This has got like blocks inside it instead, which is rather interesting. And they're quite long. Um, and side to side, they look identical. They're like a mirror image right through. So it's different again, it's different style, which is interesting. I'm guessing. It's a certain kind of connector type, but I don't know. I'm not up to par with those things. Anyway, it goes 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and this is also says 0 0.5, 1 mil, 1.5, 2.5, 4, and 6. 5, 4, 1. So, where does a 0.25 and 0.75 come from? That's interesting. I wonder if it's the gaps on the opposite side instead. I think so, it's just weird. I don't understand what it's got those markings, unless they're supposed to be like for both. Maybe they are. Anyway, we shall have a bit of a play. So let's just, uh, start off with, let's take these jaws here out and actually see what markings and stuff are on them. It was involved, so it should be pretty straightforward to get in and out as you'd expect. And these are marked as JX16018. So that is 10, which is smaller size. Mm -hmm. 
and that is the 245, uh, 2546 sorry, which is a much bigger one and that one there which we were just looking at is the 06 which means these, the 06 and the 08 and the 10 don't seem to actually have much relevance to each other as far as like a sizing scale so that itself is a little bit interesting too um, I'm just supposed to be that way up but yeah Oh, I don't know, it's interesting these markings are upside down compared to these ones. If you look at the actual shape of the drawers and they've got the AB markings on them. So, um, which set I'm going to use the most? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure at all actually. It may be these, but these seem like a bit of an afterthought, like they're not even from this set. It's that kind of thing, you know. Um, they're a different shape to the other ones. These are black. They're not painted correctly. The quality on these doesn't seem as good. They're quite sloppy together. Compared to these other ones which seem to fit quite nicely together. Quite a positive fit. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's correct. I don't know. But I mean I do. Go in. Are they correct around? Probably not. They were trying to push outwards. So it's just... Um, Swap them around. Yeah, that's better. Those line up now. Which is the way you expect them to be the, the biggest one closest to the hinge point for the most uh, most leverage and crimping power. So I don't know. Um I'm I'm a bit torn about which set I'll actually set on here, but uh, I mean I see my car. I'm not gonna do any crimps because I haven't got any terminals in here as I said, but the actual crimpers themselves seem absolutely fine. Um, I think these drawers here are a bit of a cock up because they're painted wrong. Um, this is a nice multi purpose drawer, this one. But only has to 0.6. Well, I don't tend to do fittings this small, so I think I'll leave that one. And 2.5 to 6. It's a bit on the big side. I think it's not likely to be that one I'll use. 0.25 to 1 maybe, I don't know, I think the one that was on it is probably the one I'm most likely to use, to be honest. I don't do a huge amount of crimping. Um, obviously, you know, when you need them, you need them. But uh, this, is the, this is the style I tend to use the most. I might just put those in and see how they go. And maybe I'll look at those later on, if I need to get a change over. But it's nice that it comes with spare screws, because... You're bound to drop them and lose them and stuff when you when you're doing things. So let's put this back in again. We'll see how we go. I mean, I, obviously I will use them, um, and I may get some feedback later on about how I find them in use. At the moment, I don't have anything that needs crimping, um, which is a bit of a shame. Oops, I've got those wrong around again because I'm looking at the bloody color codes on now. Color codes are wrong. That way around. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some paint, I think, and fix those dots, because those are going to drive me nuts. Um, obviously, we painted them, didn't actually follow the guide, or they had an way around or something, I don't know, but... Well, they kind of had an way around, because, say, red is the smallest. So, it should be red, blue, yellow, so they've completely cocked it up. <laughs> so, no, I don't know, you go figure it out. But they feel nice enough, I mean, they feel fairly robust. Um... It's just no, little details that are a little bit disappointing, I suppose. So thanks, Banggood, for sending me these. Um, so like I said, there was no charge for these. Um, it's just a sh real shame that the case was damaged. And it appears to be, um, appears to have been packed as damaged. You know, I think it was that way when they packed it. Because of not having all the broken parts in the packaging. And in fact, the case is all scratched up. Um, so I think that that's the way it was actually sent to me, which is disappointing, you know. It may have thought, oh, no, it's only a review item and, you know, it's free, so they gave me a damaged one because it's only the case which is damaged. Um, they probably thought, oh, no, just save the good ones for people which are paying for them, which I can understand. But uh, regardless of that, you know, it's a bit disappointing that you get a case which is like this, you know. 
Um, hopefully you're not sending like this to other people. Um, I've communicated the issue back to Banggood um, about the issue with this case. Uh, they, may, they may sort something out for that. I don't know, but I'm not overly worried about it, to be honest. It's just, you know, it shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have been sent to me in this condition. And that's really the issue there. Um, I'm pretty sure Banggood would stand by it and say, I oh, will fix that for you or something. But I haven't uh, heard back from you yet. It's only a couple of days ago I sent the message to them. And it's been a weekend, so they're probably not working. So that's that. Um, so once again, thanks to Banggood for sending that to me. There'll be a link down below in the description for this item. Um, it's a tracked link, so make sure that uh, if you are looking at buying a kit like this, um, use that link. And because um, I get uh, a affiliate bonus basically for, for that and gives me some credits on my account with them, which means I can buy things a little bit cheaper. Um, helps me out slightly, you know, I can buy more things from the mail bag a bit cheaper um, if, um, if I'm uh, not getting free stuff. And I do buy things, honestly, do buy things, it's not all free. Um, so, yeah, thanks again, Banggood. And this is just a bit disappointing that that's the situation with the case, but the rest of it looks okay, doesn't it? Apart from that cock up with the with the painting on the on the jaws. But anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and follow that link. And if even if you're going to buy anything from Banggood, use that link because it still tracks to my account. So if you're going to go to Banggood and buy anything, please use my links. It does help me. If a little bit helps. Thanks a lot. Catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and. Click the bell icon if you haven't already done that. And also, thanks to my Patreons again. I must, must keep forgetting to ask them to well, thank them. Sorry. Um, thanks to Patreons for supporting me and people who donated to me through PayPal. If you're interested in sending me some money to help me to buy mailbag items, um, or, or even to help me buy test gear, you know, for reviews or um, repair work, you know, as I tend to do, it can be quite expensive buying test gear because it's like you know potentially a thousand dollars a pop. Um, then please do follow those links down below in the description, which uh, for the PayPal or Patreon links. Um, if you want to do like a recurring payment, you can do it on both. I think I've got a self on PayPal as well, so you can do a recurring payment if you want to um, of whatever amount you choose. And the PayPal ones, uh, sorry, the Patreon ones, you also get the benefit of if you, um, I think I, generally above two dollars, I might do you a pre-release of a video and get you to see that. Um, if it's more than five dollars, you get the pre-release of every video, pretty much that I'm going to do a pre-release on. Um, in, you know, but the two-dollar ones might only get the more basic ones like mail bags and stuff like that. Um, so, all right, thanks a lot. I'm waffling. Catch you later.